So hey everybody, Inga here from Enchanted Wood Designs. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a dirty pour today. And everybody's doing dirty pours, but I wanted to try different, something a little bit different. So what we do is we take our Floetrol and we take our paint product, which guys, look what I'm using, the color shift. Oh my, look at these beautiful colors, okay? If you haven't seen these or used these yet, they are fabulous. I love them, I love them. So I'm a sponsored artist for Plaid, and Plaid is the company that makes the Color Shift paints, and they have got some amazing colors out with their Color Shift right now. So they are beautiful, beautiful colors, right? I love them. Love, love, love every single one of them. So, oh, and my favorite too, which I was pretty tickled to see it come to my store. So orange is my favorite color, and there's green. Look at that. Isn't that brilliant? Look at them beautiful colors. Okay. And you can literally see the color shift, like, inside, right? Isn't that great? But that's what they do. Okay. So, without further ado, what I did is I took half of this little cup, and I filled it with Floetrol halfway. And then I also did half with um, the color shift paint from Plaid. And you got to mix it really super duper good. And then I took a couple of drops of the 3-in-1 silicone oil. And I mixed it in here too. Just a couple drops. That's all you need. Okay. So I've mixed all that in there. And I have a bunch of different colors here. And I'm not even sure if this is going to give me any kind of cells or anything. But you know what? Don't know until I try. But what I'm going to do is this board that I'm using actually was a chalkboard from... I bought it at Home Depot last year, well, at Christmas time in December. They had them at um, Home Depot for, oh Lord, it was so cheap, um, like $6. And I just, I was amazed at the price because it was just too cheap to, you know, even believe, right, that it was that cheap. So I went ahead and bought like four of them. And I did a, I did a pour earlier, so I've got a bunch of paint on me. <laughs> Um, it was just a, it was a different kind of dirty pour, but it wasn't a dirty pour. It was a pour, but it was some art that I was using these colors for. I'm trying to get these little pipettes out of here from my other video that I did, which you can find my other video. I did some string art using plaid. Um, this color shift here from plaid, I did some string art with it over some black. Um, and you can find it on my webpage, which is Enchanted Wood Designs. So we do some really cool stuff here. Um, besides the dirty pour that I'm doing, we make stuff like this. I literally cut it out on my machine, and then we paint them. I paint them. And I do pours, and I, and I decorate, and I bling. And I do sell these in kits or whatever. Here's another one that I did. This one has some uh, metallic colors on it. And if you were to order this from me, this is pretty much how you would get it. Just like this. And it would come apart, right? And you can paint the top piece however you would like. And then the bottom piece however you want. So, that's that. And let's see, let me show you one more thing. Well, maybe two. <laughs> so this is another um, one that I made. Right? See the colors? Beautiful, right? And if you were to order that, this is how it would come to you. And, of course, it would have a piece of cork that goes in here, so you can make it a cork board. Or it would be a beautiful picture frame, too. So, there's options there. Um, and I cut all this stuff on my machine, like I said. I have Mr. Owl. So, I make him out of wood as well. And, you know, Enchanted Wood Designs, we tend to take things a little bit too far sometimes, right? So, Mr. Owl was looking kind of naked to me, so I had to go one step further. And do some feathers. 
So now we have Mr. Owl with feathers. And he's got feathers everywhere. Isn't he beautiful? And I do sell him too, um, the kit to make him. I don't sell the feathers with them. You have to buy the feathers on your own. Because I'm figuring everybody will want their own color anyway. And there's no telling how many you're going to need because everybody will have their own way of doing things. So the uh, feathers you'll just have to buy separate, which... You know, you can buy them at Hobby Lobby or Michael's Arts and Crafts Store or even online wholesale, okay? All right, so back to my dirty pork. So I've also just mixed some black the same way um, with the flow trough, some black. This is just, just generic cheap water paint, so um, it's just a water-soluble paint, and it's black. And then I did some white paint, um, and you know, who doesn't like glitter, right? So I did some white paint, and I put some glitter in it. And I'm going to do this pour with a strainer because I've not seen anybody do one with a strainer. And I was at the dollar store and, and I seen this and I thought, ooh, idea, right? <clears throat> so I'm going to lay a couple of sticks down on my wood. If I can get them, they're not going to reach. <laughs> so I'm going to have to find me two big sticks. I know I've got some because this is a shop. Uh, or not. I know. I guess I'll figure it out. So I'm going to lay some sticks on here maybe somehow. See if I can. Nope, it's not going to happen. All right. <clears throat> so I'm actually just going to lay this down and let the paint pour through it. Or I may even hold it. So, all right. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to flip my camera down and I'm going to show you how I mix stuff in my cups. And... And we'll get us we'll get started. So I'm gonna do a couple different cups. Alright, here we go. Flip in the camera down. There we go. Alright, this is a new arm for my phone, so it takes a second to get it to where I want it to go. It has a mind of its own. If I don't drop my phone, I will be a happy camper. Ugh, I think I still need to get me a new arm. I don't like it. Is that going to work or no? Uh, I think it will. I can always move it down just a smidge. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to take my paints and I'm just going to literally, literally pour four cups, which I don't really have to do four, but I'm going to do four cups, right? So each cup gets a little bit of this paint in it black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to take some out of one of those cups and put it over here because I don't have enough to share. So I kind of want them to be equal, but it doesn't really have to be because they're kind of going to be everywhere anyway. That's good. I don't need to move it. I'll just put more white in this one than I normally would, right? So I'm doing a little bit of shot of white in each one, and I'm not, no really no rhyme or reason, okay? Just a little bit of colors in each one. I'm going to go ahead and shoot for the yellow in there. A little bit more yellow in this one. A little bit of yellow here. Now this is going to be a sign when it's all said and done, depending on how it looks. That will tell me uh, when it's done what the saying is that I want might want to go on it. It'll all depend on how it looks. The, look of, the looks of things do change the way we do things, right? So I think I'm going to do two cups with this teal. And then I'm going to do two cups with purple. Purple. Loving it already. Gosh, I just absolutely love these color shift paints. They are so, so beautiful, right? 
And now I'm going to do a little bit of green. And all of them because I do love this color. Now I didn't do orange this time because I was trying to stay with colors that were um, complementary on the color wheel. The only one that kind of stood out that was really complimentary was the red, but the red tends to look almost pink, so it fits with these colors, so I did use the red as well. And this board, this board was, um, it was actually chalkboard that I bought at Home Depot around Christmas time. They were like $6.00. So I ended up buying like four of them because I just thought, wow, you know, for six bucks, at least I didn't have to make it, right? And I know chalkboards really are out right now, so I wasn't so concerned. Now I'm going to add a little white about the chalk cord because I knew I wasn't going to be using it for a chalkboard for sure because I, it's too messy. Chalkboards are just a mess. So I'm going to use the rest of my purple here and on this one because the other ones I don't have purple in so I'm not using purple in those. I'm just going to use it up in these cups. Try to anyway. Alright and I did do a couple of drops of that 3-in-1 silicone in all of these colors but just because I want to make sure that I've got some groovy cells, which you will get cells from um, the Floetrol as well. But I like making sure, I want to, I'm always adding because I want to make sure that I get some really good cells. And since I've never really done a pour like this um, with this color shift. Now I did do a whole dining room set actually with the teal. Um, color shift and with the green which I will have as soon as it gets better outside the weather as soon as it warms up a little bit I will um, definitely be posting pictures of that I just uh, I gotta wait till the weather gets a little bit warmer and it gets prettier outside because right now it's not very pretty outside All right, so I've not seen anybody do a pour like this with with the plaid uh, color shift product yet. So that was really why I wanted to do it. I wanna, I wanted to. I always like to try to do something that somebody's not tried yet. All right, where do I want to put this? These ones look a little less. They look low. And I always try to use all the paints like I was doing something earlier and you know you don't think about how much you're mixing so nine times out of ten I always make sure that I have a second project waiting nearby so if I have extra paint then I'm not I'm not ruining or wasting any product that I'm using every bit of it so you know paint's not cheap and we certainly don't want to waste it so And I love it, so I really wouldn't want to waste it. This color shift is absolutely one of my favorite, favorite paints to use. And I'm actually kind of so excited that spring is here because we had 80 degree temperatures today. And that means that, whoops, that means that I will be able to um, get outside and, and actually do some furniture. Because these little projects, they're great. But man, you can only do so many little projects, right? All right, so here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour these one at a time. And I'm going to start right in the center, and I'm going to hold this up, okay? And then it's going to just kind of shift. It'll go around it. So here we go. You ready? Well, it looks like it's not really going through the holes. It looks like it's just 
pour it around it. Look at that. So, that's a bad idea. We don't want to use that, but look. Look at how neat, right? So now I'm just going to leave this here and I'm going to let it drip off. And I am going to, because I forgot to add a couple more drops of this inside of it. And I'm not going to stir it up because I've already done it once and I've stirred it up. And I'm not going to do that again. So, so now I'm just going to go ahead and flip this one and leave it. And I'm going to run this to my sink. Otherwise, it's going to get on my carpet. <laughs> there we go. And I'll flip this one. And I'm going to flip this one. Look what it's doing when I tap them together. See how it's just dropping stuff? It looks great. Ooh, so pretty. All right. Wow, you guys, look at that. Look at all them pretty color shifts in there. All right, now here we go. Let me make some room here. Get my towels out of the way. So we're gonna tilt it. And what I do is I generally generally tilt it towards the edge of the where I like it the best, the colors, because then it will allow those colors that I like the best to come out because once it moves and I was going to tell you too I did glue the edges inside this because I was worried about it leaking out this will be a sign I'm not sure what it'll say but it will be a sign and then you just kind of move it to where you want it to go right <clears throat> and if you want more groovy colors, then you move it more. Sometimes if you tend to move it slower, it'll move to where you want it to go. So look at that. So I'm really, really liking it. You guys seeing these cells popping up? Now watch this. Alright, so it's going to be a little loud. Okay. And you know I poured white in there, and look, that white has completely disappeared. Now I'm going to bring some more cells. And that's going to be that silicone that's popping through. And then if there's any air in here, it'll pop, it'll get rid of the air too, right? So look at that white popping through there, you guys. Can you see it?
porch, make sure you're really super duper careful, okay? Because they get hot really quick. The tips of them get hot. Um, and this paint, this white that I used was just a cheapy thin uh, white paint and I just literally threw some glitter in it. So it wasn't anything, you know, spectacular or anything. Alright. Let's put some paint on this clean apron. So, what do you guys think? I think it's looking pretty darn cool. And it's still changing and it'll change tomorrow. It'll look nothing like this. It'll look so different compared to how it looks right at this very moment. It's going to look so different. So, I'm going to see if I can undo my phone without shutting it off. Alright. And I guess I can't turn it around. It's not going to let me. So, let me get close. Look at that. Look at that corner. Isn't that cool? Love it. And these cells are all just popping up on their own. Isn't that great? Look at them little cells popping up. That is from the silicone that's doing that. This is totally rad. So now I can say that I've absolutely tried it with the color shift paints and I like it. Look at that. You guys imagine this like on a cool coffee table? I mean look at these cells popping up through here. That's so cool. Alright, well Anyway, thanks for joining me. Again, my name's Inga McClellan, and I'm with Enchanted Wood Designs. Stay tuned. You'll be seeing a lot more videos from me. Um, it won't be as simple as this one. This one was easy and lots and lots of fun. The other ones, they're, they're going to be lots of fun, too, but not quite as easy. So, Thanks for coming and watching. I appreciate you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message at Enchanted Wood Designs with a Z. Okay? Thanks again. Have a great weekend.